थैंक यू पी आर श्रीजेश A very good evening viewers thanks for tuning in this is south speaks on the show today we're discussing hockey and a legend at that india of course is a cricket obsessed country many say it's a religion for over a billion indians but that may be the case but hockey today has become an emotion a part of our childhood which of course hasn't grown up listening about major uh, you know dhyan chand indian hockey went through a period of ignominy For nearly two decades, Indians kept suffering heartbreaks. Medals disappeared, the stands empty, but the tide has finally turned. India now has won two successive Olympic medals. Hockey and India have new stories to tell viewers, and whenever stories about Indian hockey's turnaround will be told, one man's name will feature every time, and that's P. R. Srijesh, the great wall of Indian hockey. the man who stood between the country and the defeat on more occasions than one can remember really and india's probably the greatest goalkeeper signed up from international hockey after 300 plus games and successive olympic medals a story career of grit which really began in kochi and now has ended with glory in paris but no one is really ready to let srijesh walk into the sunset as after prime minister modi of course spoke to srijesh about grooming the next generation of indian hockey came the news that the legend is going to coach junior hockey team as its head coach just like the wall of cricket rahul dravid of course who coached the under 19 team after retirement srijesh now will hone talent which will go on to blaze a trail across the globe now with srijesh at the helm of indian hockey fans of course can be sure that in not so distant future india will produce a team which will not only be a podium regular but will change the color of the medals from bronze to gold now while of course we've spoken a lot about srijesh his contribution in the last you know few games in particular today of course i'm going to open this debate or a discussion to an esteemed panel who are joining us to discuss more about this man and how this new role of him or the announcement that has come in how will it change hockey in india adrian disuza former indian field hockey goalkeeper he's also been a mentor to srijesh when he started his hockey career he's joining us today on the broadcast dr ab subaya former indian hockey goalkeeper himself been a captain and even a coach he's a arjuna awardee he's also a part of the 1998 gold winning asian games indian team ranjit bajaj he's a sports enthusiast he's also joining us today on the broadcast let me first take this across to a uh, mr subaya here mr subaya firstly of course i'm sure being from the fraternity being of course so close to hockey even till today you must have enjoyed you know the win that came by today we're talking about you know srijesh in particular and this announcement that has come in how does it really augur for indian hockey uh definitely we wanted to continue him to play some more games for india but uh, it's a time for everyone or one day they have to uh, call it a day and uh, srijesh is uh, living his uh, game playing for india on a higher note i think this is the right time what he decided before going also i met him so uh, earlier also uh, along with the uh, adrian and uh, shrijesh uh, i had a uh, chance to coach uh, them as a goalkeepers and for a some time very short period and uh, but uh, shrijesh has gone from yeah. uh, very uh, started from there to be a legendary goalkeeper i say because uh, his consistency in the recent years it's uh, tremendous and uh, his uh, dedication or we salute him as a goalkeeper and is a right decision he made at the right time yes that's as far as his retirement uh, mr subaya is concerned but now the announcement that he'll be coaching the young lot of hockey how 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 do you think that will fare yeah deepak what happened uh, every time in uh, i am also in the hockey india uh, hockey development committee we always to, to, uh, told them like no we should prepare uh, coaches among our uh, star players who are uh, getting out of the game same thing after the last olympics we told ching yeah. linsina and all that can be uh, because they are almost 8 to 10 years they are trained under the foreign coaches and uh, they are still fresh 
like you no know, what they think how they train so those yeah. uh, people should have been uh, inducted into the sub junior and junior levels and anyway this is a good development at least hockey india has uh, thought of immediately after retirement getting him back to the coaching line now adrian is co- coaches the indian coaches and the uh, goalkeepers in the different uh, academies that is a very good development we should have done because australia holland germany everybody the former players are after retiring from the game they are used for coaching the club teams and the junior teams sub junior teams so that's why the hockey level what the they train in the senior uh, national team the same system will be adopted in the junior and sub junior level and they at least they thought very quick and it's a welcome uh, appointment i say okay fair point i'll also bring in mr disuza here uh, do you agree with mr subaya that properly instead of looking at foreign coaches you know uh, going after some of the legends of the game in the sport from the country itself is probably a better option we are looking at of course uh, bcci do it as far as cricket is concerned so in hockey as well it has been done in the past and uh, you know both of you all have been coaches yourselves but you know uh, in the recent past we've seen the somewhere the body trying to bring in foreign coaches as well i'm not going to get into the de- into the debate of whether it is it is right to have indian coaches or foreign coaches but to have somebody like srijesh who is of course a great ambassador of the sport now mentor the young ones coming into hockey or probably you know making their way towards the senior team do you feel it's the right move well firstly deepak uh, and subhi are now there i think congratulations and more than a dis- uh, debate i think this is a healthy discussion when uh, when you talk about srijesh and when you talk about sports and you talk about hockey especially hockey uh, there are rules changing every every 6 months every one year hockey is a progressive sport you know and uh, as subhiana said i completely agree with him having fresh players who just been out of the system and who have decided to you know take parts in their retirement getting them involved but obviously not putting him in the main main field as in in the men's senior team let them grow let them develop let them understand because it's it's a very different affair when you're a player and when you're a coach uh, last year i just became the coach of the goalkeepers yeah. for the sub junior but uh, the entire federation has understood that we need to have a setup a structure where we develop not only players not only coaches but also empires because in the center olympics you've seen uh, the mismatch we've had with empires the tug of war we've had with empires but the entire system is changing so it's evolving at the same time and uh, yeah. if uh, shrijesh has made that decision now that it's out that he is going to be the chief coach of the junior men's team he's still involved with the sport and that's the most important thing for us athletes you know because once you decide your career is towards an end and uh, would you rather do a 9 to 5 job or would you rather do a continuing job or would you be with the sport because every sportsman sacrifices so much you know think about it 300 days they are in the national camp there there no happy birthdays there no anniversaries there nothing is the sacrifice and yeah. in, in every sport they do that including cricket but if shrijesh is going to be the perfect mentor for the juniors having him there having him teach to the next generation what he's learned not only as a goalkeeper but as a leader as as a complete complete achiever and uh, if you look at it this is yeah. the right path and having more indian coaches i'm not going to compare it with the foreign coaches obviously when they needed to learn a uh, skills when it came to uh, our dribbling they they seen our videos and they learn the skill so we are now adapting with what's happening with modern hockey and if you are going to get some guidance from foreign coaches why not yeah. but in the end i believe that we indians can and should do it mr bajaj uh, we've had the two veterans of course who are completely siding with the, what the decision has come by or an announcement at least at this point in time do you agree with them oh deepak thank you so much for having me first of all and mr now especially on this topic because yes i not only do i agree with them i vehemently agree with them in fact this decision may bring a revolution in india and all the other sports also that you need to give the due back to the coach uh, to the players because uh, no one understands indians better than indians and i would say uh, and i would just bring in a little change here with comparing to the game i know the best football all the world cups in the world have been won by coaches of their own country 
So I really think that uh, it's time because people like Srijesh, who have, like uh, Suda sir said, we've got people, and Subhaya sir said as well, he, he's just been attached to the game right now. And he's seen all the coaches, so the foreign coaches doing their magic. That thing can be picked up and applied in the juniors, and then he can grow as a coach because he needs game time. Like a player needs game time, he needs game time as a coach to develop his skills and to make mistakes. And I really think they should be grooming him okay. for the senior job. Like you said, he's the guy who's going to change the color of the medal for us. I truly believe. Okay, uh, Mr. Subaya, I'll come back to you uh, because till now all of you have agreed that this is a good decision that he should probably uh, be the one that uh, you know coaches the younger lot coming into the mainstream uh, you know hockey in India. But what are the attributes now? Considering you and Adrian in particular, of course, have known Srijesh, you know him as a person, as an individual, the kind of grit, the determination that he has, the skill set that he has. You probably have seen all of this. So, what are the qualities in Srijesh? that will make him stand out as a coach and also what are the qualities that he can really imbibe in the younger lot? Yeah, this uh, you can see as a, in the cricket, it's a wicket keeper who can be a good uh, captain because he will be completely standing behind the wickets and uh, watching the whole ground where the uh, stra, stra, player's strong point, everything. Srijesh is also very good uh, study material for us also because as a goalkeeper, we always... Uh, shout out to the players, defenders, power line, like you not know, to cover and all that. We will be involved more in the game than any other player in the field. So what I say, uh, Deepak, yeah. uh, it is the, the timing uh, to bring these players into the uh, coaching system. That is very important because, see, I, have, I was mm -hmm. lucky after I left on two, uh, 1998, 2003, immediately when Gilser said, you can come and coach the goalkeeper, all these Adrian and uh, they're all uh, Bharat Shetri, they're all new players, Devesh Shavan. So I used to pad with them yeah. in the camps. So now, if anything, uh, they want. So he's fresh, like, you know, what the team planning, how they're preparing, how they're preparing for a match, everything fresh in uh, Srijesh mind. If he would have been inducted after 10 years, the game would have been gone ahead and uh, some changes would have really happened, which he's not aware of that. This is the right, th uh, right thing they have done. We told even not only Srijesh, even the people like Manpreet, whenever they leave, just get back to them to the coaching system so that they can continue uh, continue the whatever the best possible foreign coaches has brought into the team, that planning. Uh, everything they can get into that. So they are fresh in the system. Okay, interesting point that you made there, Mr. Subaya. Mr. D'Souza, uh, do players naturally make, you know, good coaches? Or do you feel that, you know, for coaching, you need a different skill set and whatever Srijay, of course, has brought to the table as a player, he'll probably have to think in a different manner now, being a coach. You, of course, you both, Mr. Subaya and you, have done these two roles as well. So tell us about the swap that Srijesh will probably have to do. And also, you personally knowing him as well, probably can comment on whether that's going to be easy for him as a personality. Well, uh, firstly, no transition is easy. And uh, it's not like a walk in the park when you go into coaching. Otherwise, then uh, Diego Maradona would have won... Yeah. Uh, medals and World Cup for Argentina, right? Being such a superstar. But when you compare all that, Srijesh and adding to what Subhiyana said, uh, apart from, you know, the knowledge that he has, uh, Srijesh is someone who loves to learn, number one, who is willing to grow. And if that is come, if that comes to coaching, he's not going to keep his pride up and saying, I'm a Olympic gold medalist, I'm a Olympic bronze medalist, and you need to give me that respect and I need to go ahead. No. He's going to start from level zero. And anyone who's seen Srijesh, and the reason why he's today at this level is because of his hard work. All he needs to do is the transition of hard work into playing. He needs to get in coaching because it's not easy. Because as a player, you're always selfish. You're thinking of your growth. You're thinking of your fitness. But as a player, you've got to think about the entire system, the entire coaching staff, the entire management, the players with their emotions and their egos also. Because... Everybody comes from different cultures. And Srijesh has just proved to everybody that, you know, yeah. the age and the city and the town doesn't matter where you, where you come from. What matters is when you wear the jersey, we all play for, for the same for the same goal. And he's the best example for that. 
Okay, uh, you know, I have, before of course we come towards the end of this debate, one aspect that I wanted to of course touch down upon, uh, and all of you can probably throw more light here, I'll come to Bajaj now, uh, here, as far as boosting the image of hockey is concerned, how important is that? Now we know the kind of enigma that there is for cricket in the country. Hockey has had a great fan following, somewhere because it has dipped through these back-to-back -back wins, the women's team's performance in the recent past, all of it has once again brought back the interest of people to not just view the sport, but also pick up the hockey stick. Now, having somebody like a Srijesh, you know, though of course now he retires, coming back into coaching and, and all of these aspects, how much do you think it will help in people wanting to get to watch the sport and not just that, to pick up that bat and get into the sport or the hockey stick rather? It's huge because now people will be even following the junior team results very closely just because of that one man, Srijesh, because they want to see what he does because uh, he's a legend on the field and can he now be a legend off the field? So they'll be rooting, there'll be more Indians rooting for the junior hockey guys and also that means there'll be new hockey stars born at that age having so much of support which is again an encouragement to the next generation picking it up that even juniors have so much of support. Now, also, I would like to say a little bit biased because I'm a goalkeeper and I played under 19 for India and football. Goalkeepers are a very different breed. They strive for excellence. Whereas as a striker, you can miss 10 and you can score one, you'll be a hero. As a goalkeeper, you miss one and people think of you as a devil. Now, imagine the legend CJ Shields and the level of excellence he demands in himself that uh, he is flawless. Yeah. And then that means that's the same level of excellence he will be demanding from the junior kids. And that's so wonderful to know now that we have a coach who will be thinking uh, only top class and going to the World Cup and winning the junior World Cup for us. And the junior Olympics, by the way. So that's going to okay. be his aim. Yeah. Okay, okay. Very quickly, I have a minute left. Mr. Subaya, coming back to you. Uh, do you feel that having somebody like Srijas also adds to the image of the sport? One. Very, very quickly, I also want to know here, this announcement, of course, came pretty quickly. Retirement was announced. Of course, that, uh, you know, that also he may put that emotional appeal before the game. Then the medal came in and that, now the announcement of him becoming a coach. Do you think this transition is too quick or is, the, is it the right time? And more importantly, for Srijesh to really cope up with all of this, do you feel that this discussion has happened or do you think it came as a surprise to him as well? How, how do things work? If you could put that into perspective. Uh -huh. I can't comment on it, but I was also thinking that before the Olympics, he announced his retirement. I was thinking that he will be under too much of pressure, like you know, a lot of press, and uh, everybody will be talking about his retirement during uh, the Olympic uh, Games. But anyway, he handled very nicely everything. The whole president and secretary of Hockey India, they were there in uh, uh, Paris, and uh, they might have really spoken to him before announcing like that. But otherwise, uh, if he refuses or he said he wants a uh, little break and he wants to come back, it would have been yeah. embarrassing. But I think it might have uh, happened. Talks might have happened. And it's a good thing. As Adrian said, it's not yeah. very easy for him to take up a uh, main coach level. But uh, definitely he learned by his mistake and he'll become a good uh, coach because he uh, of is a good uh, reader of the game, actually. Absolutely. Mr. Subaya, Mr. Adrian and Mr. Bajaj, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and perspective into this. Of course, he's a champion in every sense and hopefully he will be able to produce many more champions for the country. With that, I'm thanking all our panelists. On the other side, the urban debate coming up with Shreya Dondiyal. Don't go anywhere.